Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be just showing you what I'm getting my adult children in their stockings this year. Can I just say, buying adult children's stocking stuffers can be really hard. My daughter's very easy, because she loves makeup. You guys have seen her in my videos before, and she's just very easy to buy for. She is 19 years old, so I also have a 22-year-old son who's much more difficult to buy for. So I did manage to come up with a whole bunch of things to put in their stocking. I will show you, it is this size of a stocking, and they're fun. I got them at Target, I think last year or two years ago. I don't know, but I'm just gonna literally go through each of their stockings and show you what's in them. And I am so stinking proud of myself. It is only December, I think second. Today's the second, I think it's Sunday. It's extremely gloomy out. So yuck, but I managed to get all of their stocking stuffers done so early. So I'm so proud of myself, yay. So, all right, let's get into what I got them. So, oh, I gotta first show you my cute little mug. I love this mug. Isn't it so cute? I know, I love it. Coffee, heaven's juice. Anyways. I think I got this in the Target dollar store last year. I think I actually have it in one of my hauls for Christmas last year. But okay, let me show you what's in. I gotta kind of maneuver this thing so you see it. I always buy, although this year I don't think I'm gonna do that for my son because he doesn't really care about it. So I, I'm done with buying gifts for just to fill up the space. Like that just seems silly to me. So I'm not buying him any ornaments, but every year since they were little, I have purchased them an ornament that goes in the top of their stocking. So Rachel still really gets into it. So I got her this one. This is again at Target. Is that not the cutest little thing? It's an old fashioned car, little wreath on the front and the tree on top. I tried to do a an ornament that reflects what the year they just had, some kind of milestone. So I we did get her a car, but it's our car that she's allowed to drive. So I didn't think that would be appropriate. I tried to find two kittens because we have the new kittens and they are pretty much her kittens, um, Mia and Bella, but I could not find cute um, kitten ornaments. I was just so depressed not to be able to find those. So this is second best, she'll love this, so. I can't spend this much time or we'll have such a long video. Okay, I always have some stuffers of some kind of candy and she loves these. These are those lint, I don't know, they're chocolate balls. They're just so cute and yummy. She loves those. Okay, she loves, what is this? Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I don't like it. It's just not, I don't like it for me, but she loves this stuff, swears by it, always wants it and I always don't want to spend the price on it because there's very good drugstore mascara. So anyways, I put it in her stocking. Um, okay. Oh, I thought this was cute little eyelashes. It's just a notepad. Not anything special, but it's a cute one. She loves to make lists. She does it on her phone a lot, but sometimes she'll have paper ones for when she's going on a trip. So this I thought would be cute for her. She self tans, so a mitt for self tanning from Ulta. Okay, um, oh, Morphe's eyelid primer, Morphe. I have no idea if this is good, but I thought we would try it. I have not tried it on myself yet. Oh, I just thought these were so cute. I can't open them because I don't want them to be opened, but they're matches that are color. Um, I think they're the, the tip of them is gonna be this color. <gasps> You know what? I can open it, right? I'm showing it. Why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, aren't those so cute? That's so cute. She will love, she loves these kind of things. This I got at Target. Oh, blotting sheets. So blotting sheets from e.l.f. Perfect things to put in a stocking for a makeup lover as my daughter is. Oh, she'll love this. Makeup Revolution. I got the... Oh, is it sealed? No. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm opening it so you guys can see. Okay, here we go. Aren't those so pretty? Come back. I think these are so pretty. She's going to love these. What's the name of this one? I'll tell you what the name. Oh, it's the Jewel Collection, Gilded. So I can't swatch them, obviously, because she's going to use them. But I swatched them in the store 
and they were so soft. They, I almost thought they were cream, but they're not, they're powder. But so cute, and I haven't tried these, so who knows how good they are, but she'll love that. She's, she'll be so excited for that. Um, I also got her Morphe's. Okay, we'll open this one too. <laughs> I still wanna try these, but I won't. This is the Morphe's 9C Jewel Crow. Crew, Jewel Crew. So it looks like that on the outside. I like the packaging, it's very pretty. Oh, those are pretty. Let me take off this little thing so you guys can see it. Okay, those are pretty as well. She'll think this is pretty. Maybe I should have looked to see if they're extremely similar. It doesn't matter, she'll love them. So she's gonna love those. Okay, so another Morphe thing. She and I are loving this. I have one here. It is their continuous setting spray. This stuff is amazing. So it just keeps spraying. Oh, I don't wanna put it in my coffee. See, look at how fine that is. Okay, I just got that all over my thing. And it's just so fine. It's a really good, I really enjoy this. So that one's mine, this one's hers, and she's going to love that being in her stocking because she doesn't have to buy it then. Oh, she's really into yellow and she's really into these. I got this at Forever 21 and real cheap, you know, Forever 21 is cheap. These are $3.90 and she will love this it's ponytail and then it dangles, dangles down her back. She'll think that's so cute. Really into yellow these days. Oh, oh, I crushed this a little bit. I got her a gift card. Cute to Starbucks, just a $5 one. It's not a lot, but she will love that because she loves coffee as I do. Okay, we're getting down to the end. More candy. <laughs> oh, this is one of my new favorites. I'm so excited about this because Rachel has used this for a while. And for some reason, I didn't think I was gonna like it and the packaging got a little ruined, but she won't care. This is, let me read it so I have it exactly what it is called. It's NYX Professional Precision Brow Pencil. And she is in the shade, and I am as well, Espresso. So it's just a brow pencil. Let me show you mine. So it's got a spoolie on one side. It's flat and goes narrow. Hopefully y'all can see that. So this is one of my new favorite eyebrow pencils because it's very creamy, but then once it's on you, it stays on you. I don't notice it falling off at all and it, it just goes on so easily so this is definitely one of my favorites now so I got her a refill of this because she's the one who turned me on to this and said mom it's so cheap and yet it works so well so got her a refill of that okay oh to go along with the matches I got her a candle so this is in this again from Target it's the flavor Woods. It's just a single wick. Mm, but it smells so good. But isn't that so cute? The candle and the matches to go with. And it's blue. She will love. She will love that. And the last thing. <laughs> I will not show these too much. But they're different undies. <laughs> All rolled up. If you go to Aerie and get their special. We went in and I was trying to find 10 and my husband's looking at me like, does she need 10 pairs of underwear? And I'm like, first of all, when you buy 10, you get them for 35 bucks. He's like, well, just get five. I'm like, no, because they are 1250, no, 1450. Some are 1250, some are 1450 each. So he, they rang it up and they rang it up. It was like $104. And then she did the special and it went down to 35. Like who in their right mind would buy them for $104? They're not that amazing. But Rachel really likes these. And so she, I got her a bunch and those were in the toe of her stocking. And that's it. That's her whole entire stocking stuffer. So let me show you my sons. All right, my son is much harder to buy for. He just is. But I managed to find enough. I actually have one thing that doesn't even fit. I cannot get it to fit in. I have this one hair that just keeps dangling down. Okay, so I will go through it. But as you can see, I won't show you all. <laughs> it's very packed and I have one that's not going to fit into it. But that's okay. I'll put it in. 
So I got him, okay, so he thinks Bob Ross is hysterical. Do you all know who Bob Ross is? You guys will know. If you're my age, you'll remember he was always on TV and he was the guy who did the painting. And if he had made a mistake, he'd say, oh, it's a happy mistake or something like that. I forgot what it is. Some kind of saying he said like, oh, it's a happy little mistake or whatever. Anyway, so we saw this. We thought this was cute. It is a Pez dispenser of Bob, Ro Bob Ross. <laughs> I just think it's cute. So something you need to know about my son. So his name is Ryan. He's 22 years old and he's very into music and he's kind of a, um, a geek. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Um, it sounds negative. It's not. I think he's amazing. He's an amazing musician. He plays um, drums and he does keyboard and he's just very talented that way and did not get that by me. So he um, does a He's full time landscaping right now. And so he works outside, but he also does some side things. He like is doing some sound for sound mixing for a podcast of some two guys in our church who are doing a podcast and they've hired him to do all the sound mixing and adding his own music in the beginning and the end. So that's really cool. And so he does that kind of stuff and just, it's just, he's a fun, but he's a quirky guy. So he's hard to buy presents for because he's not, his presents are like expensive things and things that I do not understand. I mean, the things that he wants for Christmas. And I'm thinking about doing a, a video once I got all my presents, doing a video for the rest of the presents that I'm giving to everyone this year. So uh, let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see because I'm thinking about doing it. I think it would be fun. I think it's fun to see what other people are giving and why they're giving it. So anyways, okay, so back on to this. So Bob Ross. Um, Hey, my son loves candy. He's 22 years old, but he actually, in some ways, I think he's 12 still. But Skittles is one of his favorites. I thought this was so cool. I actually bought one of these for myself and my um, husband. This is from Eddie Bauer. It's a travel ice scraper. And it's just really cool. You can just put it in your glove compartment and it'll break the ice off. Sometimes with the big things, it's hard to get in there if you just want to do it quickly. So this will do it really quick. So I got a few of these, but a great stocking stuffer. I forgot what the, oh, three bucks, three bucks, yay. Okay, can never have enough. And this is my own because I forgot to buy it. And my son literally, as I'm walking up here, I said, I, you can't play music too loud, I'm gonna film. And he's like, what are you filming? And I told him it was about stocking stuffers. He goes, okay, well, don't forget chapstick. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> So I gotta go buy chapstick. So I put this in here. I will be filling chapstick into here because he does work outside. So my hair is just in my face. Okay, I've had it. I can't stand it. It's going back. Okay. Um, air fresheners for his car. So he's in here a lot, in his car a lot because he travels to go to landscaping and things. So it's always a good thing. Another Swedish fish. He loves those. Okay, this one we found yesterday, my husband and I, and I was so excited. He likes beef jerky. So there was, there's this place kind of near our house called the Philadelphia Terminal Market. No, Philadelphia Outlet Market or something. It's in Limerick. And uh, they have a beef jerky store. So fun, and they have all these different types. So it's all of them, are, there's pork and buffalo, pork and alligator. I'm not sure, is that politically correct that they have alligator? I think that, is it really alligator? Oh, okay, pork and venison, smoked beef with blazing hot, and smoked beef Cajun barbecue. So he will think this is really cute, I'm so, Curious, I'm looking around for my glasses that are on my head. Do any of you do that? Oh, that drives me nuts. Ingredients, oh, pork and alligator, number one and two ingredients. Is that like wrong? Well, I'm sure it's legal, but I don't know how I feel about, I don't know. Okay, I have to weigh that one out. Okay, this is the one that didn't fit, but um, 
he, okay, so backstory. Every year when he was little, I would get him a little Lego kit that would just be fun and he would, it would just be one of those small ones and he would put it together in the house, you know, while everyone's around on Christmas day and he would just sit there and put it together amongst all the hubbub of happening on Christmas day. And the other year or something last year, he's like, I miss those. Those were fun. So I got him one. So this is a little Lego kit. I think it's so cute. He, I got, I, I won't say more. Okay. This is for a five to 12 year old, <laughs> but I just think he's going to think it's fun. He will think it's fun. Little boys become big boys, but they're still little boys. Okay. This I thought was really cool. This is a tech kit. I actually got it at Starbucks and in it is, I'm not going to open it because I don't want to ruin all the packaging and stuff. A phone tablet stand, audio splitter, earbuds, two in one charging cable and a wall charger, but all in a little kit. And I thought this would be fun for him to like put in his car. So it's always available or travel or something like that. So I think this is kind of fun. I think he'll like this and it looks really masculine with the leather. Well, I'm sure it's pleather. Okay. Couple more things. We're almost done because his gifts were big. Oh, he loves these. Come on. Does this not say Christmas? This, yes. Ferrero Rocher. Love those. The hazelnut. Yeah. I wonder how many Weight Watchers points is in each one. I think a lot. Yep. Um, oh, he's in landscaping, so I got him some hand warmers. So I think you just break them up and he can put it in his uh, gloves and they last eight hours. I thought these were cool. I have no idea where I got these. Probably Target. Probably. Um, and the last thing, oh, is wool socks because he's in landscaping again and, he, you know, you go through these and he's in the cold and he does, oh, I just shook y'all. Sorry. He does work throughout the entire year, even with the snow and stuff. They do snow removal and things. So he will like that. So that's it, guys. That's what I'm putting in my kids' stockings, my adult kids' stockings. So guys, tell me if you have any other ideas that are really fun. Stocking stuffers can be really challenging sometimes without spending a lot of money. I try to do something that's a little bit more fun and not just toiletries just to make it more fun. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I gave you maybe a couple ideas for your stocking stuffers if you have adult children or just adults in your life. And I will see you in the next video. God bless.